Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. We are excited to have Patty B Spa and Wellness back with us from Merrick, New York. Patricia Brasalo, the owner and CEO and founder of that's Patty B Spa and Wellness. And by the way, the website too, pattybspawellness.com. She joins us again here to talk about all the lymphatic massage and body sculpting and post-op cosmetic surgery massages that she does. And again, there's clearly so many benefits detoxing and recovery to help you when you're sick, when you're down. And we are excited that you're here helping people feel better and and also look better. So welcome back today. How are you? Hi, guys. Good. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. Well, excited to have you here. We're both, uh, you know, on the island of Long and uh, dealing with some uh, cloudy skies, humid weather today, but we're going to get through, right? Yes. Yes. All right, Patty, (laughs) tell us a little bit about what it is that you do and overview for our new time viewers today to start. All right. So I do post-op massages. I specialize in lymphatic massage, um, regular massages, but lymphatic and then post op too, we do face facial lymphatic massage. We do um, all the skin cares. So today we're gonna talk about post op. Mm, and what is post op exactly for those that may not know? So post op, as we're referring, it's basically any surgery, but I specialize in cosmetic surgery, like post cosmetic surgery. When you have a tummy tuck, uh, or any breast lift, any breast surgery, recovering from um, any kind of cosmetic surgery. I do a little bit of a uh, medical, yep. you know, let's say you have cancer, then you have to re- reconstruct your breast, yep. stuff like that too. Oh, well, let's talk about the process and the benefits. So first and foremost, when someone has a cosmetic procedure, obviously there are certain things that, you know, the doctor sends you home with, right? And you got to usually wear it. If it's, if it's a liposuction, there's like a garment, right? Yeah. Um, when it can, and I'm sure you're going to be swollen right away. So tell us about what happens after the surgery to someone's body, if you don't mind. Yeah. So once let's start from the beginning. So once they come out from the doctor, usually they perform the surgery, you go home the same day. Sometimes some doctors send you with a nurse or you stay overnight, but most of the times you just come home. So once okay. you come home, you're very small. You're probably not in too much pain because you still have the anesthesia going on. Sure. But once that wears off, then it becomes a problem. Then you get swollen then you feel the pain. It's very uncomfortable. I mean, we have different types of surgeries now, like thank God everything changed. So they have some liposuctions that they do while you're awake. Yeah. So they only do local anesthesia, but they still hurt. They all hurt. It's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's an invasive procedure. So you do need the lymphatic massage after a lot of the doctors are now knowing about the lymphatic massage post-op. So they are recommending, I work with some doctors, they send people straight to me. It's very important that you get the massage. It releases this blo- the bloatness, the swollen, the pain that you're going to feel. It's a s- wonderful thing to do. Well, mm. let's talk about what lymphatic massage really is, too. Sometimes people don't even know what that is. And then I want to know, how quickly after the procedure can you get this done? And let's talk about the benefits of it, too. All right. So usually the, the I ask that everybody to say did the doctor said okay you know you need to I, I usually wait once you have it you go the next day or a couple of days later you go to the doctor and then they, he sees it he opens up the garment he sees how you're healing if you have stitches you have to make mm-hmm. sure the stitches are healing fine then after that you can come to me so the doctor has to see you he has to say okay and then they come to me because, you know, you got to make sure, you know, you don't have anything bleeding. It's a very delicate <laughs> situation, you know? Yeah. And, you know, what about, you know, so someone, say someone had the liposuction, right? And I don't know whether it's, say it's their stomach, their legs. So the massage is used to all parts of that body. And, you know, is it going to be painful to us? And, you know, it, it helps the healing process quicker. I want to know all the details. Okay. So, uh <laughs> That's me, right? So yeah. once you cut your skin, usually a breast implant or breast lift or tummy tuck or the inner thigh lift or the lower body lift, whenever it's a cut, uh-huh. usually the doctors do a little lipo just to give you a nice shape, you know, after. But 
this is what people don't believe me. Once you have a cut, it doesn't hurt as much. But liposuction, let me tell you, it's sore. Mm. I always put it like this. If you work out like really intense, like you work out, you work out really hard, you sore, right? Yeah. So when you do a lipo, since, you know, they perforating and they go in and out, in and out with the candela, it's like they're hitting you. So you get super sore. It doesn't matter if it's local anesthesia, whatever the type of way they perform, you're going to be sore. And if you get more sore than anything. So the massages has to be something really soft. You just touch the skin. Basically, just you just drag everything, the fluid to the lymph nodes. Soft. You know, the, the lymphatic massage is a very soft massage that we pump the lymph nodes. But when you have a surgery, it's a little bit different. You got to be more okay. gentle. You got to be, you know, mm-hmm. you're in pain. You're in pain. And my clients laugh because I have a list. Like I give them a list of what's going to happen next. And they laugh. I'm like, the first week, you're in pain. The second week is the regret phase. Uh-huh. Like, Why did I do this? I didn't need it. Yeah. They don't they don't understand, you know, how come my doctor didn't say that it was going to be so painful. Yeah. <laughs> so, said, so after the third week, they're like, oh, my God, I see results. Yeah. And they, they forget the pain. We still get a little uh. bit of pain, but, you, but it's, it gets better, you know, as it goes. I said, you have to be patient. And with then, with my client, that's why they love me. I'm like a therapist, you. I see. <laughs> so like, I love it. I love it. <laughs> you have to be, you have, I'm like, it's going to be fine. You just have to be patient. Sometimes they don't look good. You know, the stitches doesn't look good. Or they are concerned about, especially face. Yeah. You know, the facelift, it's something very, I work with them more here than the massages. Got it. Mental. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yes, because yes. I'm like, you're going to be, I see, I, I have a, this year it's the boom. The boom is the face. Really? Like, sometimes you have more like a, like a tummy talk, like everybody's concerned about the stomach this year. It's face. Everyone's typo, um, like the lids, like the eyelids, they're doing a lot of this and the whole face lift. And it's, it's very, it's delicate because it's your face. You can't hide it. And the garment goes here. It grabs you here all the way up and your neck. So you're really? like, like a mummy. It doesn't it's... look good. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I had clients coming to me with hoodies. Yeah. And 80 degrees weather, you know, hot because they're hiding the face. Mm-hmm. I mean, I understand. I think I will do the same thing, to be honest with you. But it takes time. You know, they got to be patient. I it's love painful. it. The massage is super light. I use red light therapy, which is good for the muscles to knock on, you know, to the tension. So once you come to me, you lay down. First thing I do, I put the red light. It warms how, your body. How, how long does that last for? I, I use that for my hair time. to try to grow my hair, a red light like cat. Red light is excellent. It, it's good for everything. Even when I have, I have like some clients that they work out a lot and they have like an knee pain. Uh-huh. I put the red light on them. It's just so good for you. It releases the tension. It, it, it's, you know, it gets your body ready for the massage. So it's very soft and uh, they don't hurt. The massages are super soft, especially with surgery. I, I had a tie. I had a lipo. You know, my love handles. I had lipo on my love handles. And let me tell you, that hurts. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I know what you feel because I've been through. So I'm like super gentle. And, it, 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 and the most important thing is that they have to understand that everything takes time to heal. Oh. You know, it takes a little time. Got it. Well, you know, this is a process. Now, people after their surgeries, you know, like you mentioned, some of them don't want to go out and, you know, it's hard to get out to, to get or even to drive, right? Or a lot of people yes. bringing their, you know, people helping them out because, right, if you're having on your butt or something, how do you drive <laughs> to get there? Um, if you want to go there, I can explain to you. Yeah. When you do butt implants, um, you know, BBLs, they uh-huh. call BBLs. It's when you, you usually take the fat out of, your, out of your stomach and your back and you put it in your butt. Oh. That's how it is. Does it really stay? Uh, Sometimes. It depends okay. how much you put it. It's never the amount that they put it because it's fat. And gotcha. as you move, you lose it. Yeah. So what happened is I have a technique that a lot of doctors 
sometimes they sometimes when you go overseas they don't want nobody touching it so usually drops or goes okay to the hips. so i bring it up like gently gentle i push it up so it stays like nice and round <laughs> you know where it has to yeah be <laughs> so you cannot sit when you do a bbl or some doctors the doctors in brazil in miami some of them says two weeks but generally like most of the doctors says a month to two months you cannot see it <laughs> so wow it's a very it's a tricky surgery i don't oh. understand i I don't, i don't think i can ever go through that i would so, be standing right now for my podcast yes <laughs> yeah it's standing or your knees you gotta go on your knees too but i love this and by the way i just want people to, who's who are listening because there are some naysayers to the cosmetic surgery world and process and i feel like i'm so for it to you know i had my breasts done my breast Me lifted too. implants I, I, i've had i love I, it i think it's uh, to if it makes you feel better why are people so judgy about it and i just I don't, don't know i don't understand i think everybody in you know especially people i have clients that they lost over 150 pounds God bless. And they have yep. to remove the skin because otherwise yeah. two things can happen. They can get sick because of the skin yeah. and they can gain the way back too. Yeah. So and then it's it, not, it's, I think they should, everybody should just be more open about it. Yeah. And I find that a lot of men just are like not, well, now I'm seeing a trend where men are getting a lot of these procedures done too. Yeah, are they coming have, to you as well? Right now I have three, three gentlemen, three, three. See? One that lost 150 pounds. Wow. And his surgery was a big surgery. He cut in the middle and he cut all the way around his waist. Wow. And he aced it. Let me tell you, he I'm so proud of him. And he looks so good. It was he has like hip issues. Like he is amazing. It feels so good. There's something yes. that makes you mentally feel good. And I hate that. Um, like every, like, I don't, I'm not married. I have, you know, two kids. I think I told you, right. Seven and nine and I've never been married, but everyone that I date, then they're always like, what you need to get Botox? What, what do you mean? Like what? Like they're so like judgy and I'm like, so what? It makes me feel better, it. I need it, but I haven't done it in months, but yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I want to show you, I want to show you something. I'm going to show you the sure. BBL seat. The, oh, the oh, oh, okay. Good, good, good. Let's see. And as she's speaking, um, since I'm on camera by myself, which is awkward, um, yeah. let me just tell you her website again, just so you know, if you want to reach out, Patty B Spa Wellness, and she's also on social media, check her out on Instagram, and okay, well, hold on, she's back, so. All right, look at this. This is a chair for when you do a BBL, if, I don't know if you can see, over yeah. here has a hole. A big donut <laughs> hole, it's like, yes. It's good over there. It, and that's how it's the best way for you to sleep. Ah, how funny is that? That is, that's great. And it's, and it's nice because you can drag anywhere you want through the house. <laughs> the light, <laughs> you just blow up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, what else do you want us to know about uh, this? You know, this is awesome. I love this stuff. Mm, what else? What else should we talk about? Oh, so the facelift. The facelift yes. is very, very delicate massage. Okay. Now I do the, the lymphatic massage in the face, but when we do a facelift, we got to go super gentle. You know, you, sometimes the clients have stitches in here. They have stitches uh -huh. all through around the face. So it's, it's one thing that I tell everybody, you have to make sure where you get the massage. Okay. Because it's not a regular massage. It's something very gentle. We, you can actually open the stitches. Okay. Like I have clients that they went to other places and they made it so much worse. So this is one thing you got to be so careful where to go because it's very delicate. Ooh. And I and have some stuff to show you too. If you sure. Want. So this is an Arnica oil that I use for the massages. This is really good for any kind of pain, like body okay. aches, you know. So we use this a lot for the massages and I also have the gel. Okay. I even use this for the boys, you know, when they get hurt. And yeah. you get bruises, that's what we should use it because <laughs> you have voice too. Cool. So, Arnica gel, Arnica oil. They have Arnica tablets. Um, I clean the wounds with stuff like this because, you know, sometimes I massage them and I put oil and I put, you know, all the lotions and I clean. You have to clean the, the stitches. You know, I don't like it to leave anything in. So, you know, I have like special stuff to clean. And for the ladies that have, scars this is the best tape for scar it's a silicone tape Ooh, it's amazing your scar will disappear in a matter of months 
It's and what best. is that? Wait, is that the thing that's based out of? Is it like silicone? But is it also like onions in it or something with onions? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> no. Sorry. Sorry. I thought they had an onion based one that helped. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Maybe. Who knows? But this is just a silicone tape. It's amazing. You, th this stuff will last you forever because you only have to remove, I think, once a week. And then you just leave it on, cover the scar, and you're beautiful. Ready to go. Oh, my goodness. And yeah. it, does it work on old scars too? Yes. Even old scars. Oh. So this is also the garment that I recommend everybody. Okay. Sometimes I see people using like a regular binders. Okay. Surgeries. And don't use that. That's the worst. It's going to destroy your surgery. It's gonna really? Mark, yeah, it's going to mark you up. And it's the worst. Especially when you have BBLs. You know, everything has to be upwards. If you put a binder, it will push it down even more. So you can't use that. So uh, it's very important that you use the right garment for post-op. And they're thick. They're annoying. They don't let you move. But that's what you need because it helps with the swelling. Got it. Ooh, yeah. I love seeing it. Uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of things that people need to know. They need to prepare themselves because they think, oh, next week I'm gonna be fine. No, you're not. <laughs> 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 you need, especially if you have kids, you know, you, you need to make a plan who's gonna help you, who's gonna, you know, be able to get the kids, who's gonna drive for you, because sometimes you can't drive, you know, all of that. It needs to be said it, you know. Well, I also want to point out uh, to remind everyone how we can contact you. Would you mind sharing? Yes, you can call me. Uh, the number is 516-2823. Oh, I forgot the number. Okay. <laughs> Way to 6913. And I'm in Merrick, Long Island. And very soon I'm going to open a spot in the city. Yay. Are you serious? Yes. yes. When? I don't know. I'm trying to get something for the holidays. Oh my goodness. Yes. Congratulations. Could Thank you imagine? You. you are so successful. Oh my yes. goodness. Congrats. Yes. A lot of models, you know, from Brazil, everybody's here. <laughs> oh, it's so true. Right. And, yeah. you know, just, I know for new, new time listeners that, you know, we just talked more about the lymphatic massage for the after post-op procedure, but tell me for other reasons why people get lymphatic massage with who are not having surgery. Um, lymphedema, it's number one. It's the biggest issue um, that wow. people have been having. And I don't know, I have I have a few clients that have that. Lymphedema, for who doesn't know, it's when your lymph nodes don't work and sometimes your legs get really swollen. Okay. You develop a lot of cellulites. It's just get, it's usually bigger. It's usually one leg is bigger than the other one. It's extremely noticeable. So they either get in the legs or they get the arms. It's, it's very strange. And um, the lymphatic massage really helps that. It's very important to do. It's, you should do that at least once a week because it, it's heavy. It's uncomfortable. You don't feel well. So by pumping the lymph nodes, we send all that fluid that stays in the body yeah. out. So you detox your body. Your legs look better. You know, it's, it's one, number one. Uh, for the face, migraine. Okay. It's really good for that. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. With all the technologies today, everybody's in the phone for so long. Maybe the eyes, you know, triggers migraines or stuff like that. So it's really helpful for that. Oh, my goodness. Great. Well, also, you know, the other uh, services you provide there. Speaking of, you mentioned cellulite. I just got to ask about your body. Is it body sculpting? How can we help our body with the, the cellulite? What is that called? The... Well, I have special tools for that. I use a lymphatic massage always. I use a machine that's called a cavitation machine. We melt the fat, then we suck the fat, and then we throw it out with the, through your lymph nodes. And I also use some wood. Like a lot of people are familiar with the wood therapy. It's a, I, my massage, I have to say this, it won't let you bruise because a lot of people go to places and use this and they're bruised. They have... Pain, I don't do that. I hate pain. And I also add the M sculpt in the machine that burns a lot of fat. I love to do that because it really burns fat like deeper than my hands. Oh so my after gosh. that, we do the massage, we 
pump your lymph nodes and hopefully yeah. you use the bathroom and everything comes out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. I mean, how busy, you know, business is, you say this is the time of the year, right? People are starting to come in, summer's over, it's time to get look looking good, right? Yes. This is a time to start, you know, body contouring and all of that stuff for the holidays. Oh, Definitely. My. You need to start it before, you know, the holidays come because <laughs> then you're going to eat, you, you know, sometimes you have like Christmas events, like parties, and that's the time we start working on it, the body. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And by the way, um, you know, just to point out again, if you go to your website and check out mm -hmm. pattybspawellness.com, uh, uh, there's also, you know, the, we talked about the post care with the massage, um, and does the massage also help with this, with the, the losing, um, inches or is that, that's something else you do the, the fat reduction technique? No, it helps. It helps. It helps you burn, uh, get rid of the fluid in the body. Got it. So automatic, you know, you look slimmer. I have clients that they are ready to, and when we finish, I see more definition, definitely. It does help you because it gives you the boost that we need. You know, sometimes you're frustrated. You work out so much and nothing changed. You're just basically retaining fluids. Um, and we everybody talks about, you got to drink water, you got to drink water, but how much are you putting it out? Yeah, true. You know, we usually retain a lot of fluid. And besides just the fat, you also have the machine that helps the stimulation of your muscles, right? What yeah. is that called? That's the M sculpting. Got it. It's amazing. That's the one I use almost every day. <laughs> ah, do you? Do you have yes. like, do you have seriously every, tight abs? It's, it's funny because everything I have here, I tell my clients, that's something that I use on myself and something that I believe it works and that I use it on me. So I... I know it works. How like, often? It's a lot of things in the market that I'm not a big fan, but what I have, I know it works. <laughs> Do you have like rock solid abs then? No. No. <laughs> no. Yes, you do. You have to. You're using that every day, right? No, Come but on. I do. I try. <laughs> it makes you feel so good. Oh, actually, my goodness. Actually, you know, I've been going through menopause, so oh. everything changes. And I actually had a client yesterday. She had exactly the same complaints I had. Half flashes, gaining weight, mood swings, all of it. You name it. And I told her, we're going to start doing body contouring because she's working out, working out, nothing changes it. And I use, I, I like to use essential oils for the that pre-menopause phase because it calms you down and it helps the skin too because you get, some, sometimes you get dry skin, you're losing your hair, uh -huh. all of, everything happens. So she was really happy and we're going to start doing body contouring on her because she needs that boost. That oh. is the time of the year that we go through. It's not fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I just love what type of essential oils do you use? Like in particular, there's some that are good um, for calming for. Love chamomile. I love chamomile because it calms you down. And, this, uh -huh. and uh, it, the smell is not so strong. I do lemongrass, uh, ginger, because ginger is excellent for lymphatic drainage. But I love I, my favorite. It's chamomile. It just relaxes you. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's what we need. We stress all the time. Like we are rushing. We have the kids. We have school. We have work. You know. It's so true. Well, let's remind everyone how we can reach out to you. Do you offer initial consultation? Someone calls you. How does that part work to set it up? Yeah, we can do a video call. We can do, we can talk over the phone. I usually like to talk to the clients because this way they get to know me better and I get to know them better. You know, sometimes they come for consultation. They show me what they want, what the goals are, and then we work on it. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Always a pleasure having you here. You're and welcome. are we back again next week? Yes. I might I have, have a special guest next week. Ooh. Yes. A client or yes. can I know? Do I know? Yes, a client. She's a social media Ooh. person. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Can't wait to see. Yay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Always a pleasure having you here. You're and welcome. again, go to Thanks the Instagram page. Look at the before and afters of the work she's doing because that that speaks volumes. Uh, Patty yeah. B, uh, spawellness.com. See you next week. Thank you, hon.
Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, online radio box, and simple radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.